Have an upcoming trip and owe back taxes to the IRS and worried about your passport being revoked? Welcome to Tax Facts, the most frequently asked questions I receive as a tax controversy attorney. My name is Eli Knopf, partner and chair of tax controversy at Frost Law. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Under the FAST Act, taxpayers with seriously delinquent tax debt can be certified to the State Department for revocation or denial of a passport. What is considered seriously delinquent? It's tax debt that is an individual, unpaid, legally enforceable federal tax debt, including interest and penalties, totaling more than $54,000, which is adjusted annually for inflation, for which a notice of federal tax lien has been filed and all administrative remedies under the law have elapsed or been exhausted, or a levy has been issued. Once those criteria have been met, your tax is seriously delinquent and eligible for certification to the State Department for either denial or revocation of a passport. Some exceptions to seriously delinquent tax debt include tax debt that's being paid timely with an IRS approved installment agreement, being paid timely with an offer and compromise, which is accepted by the IRS, or a settlement, ag settlement agreement entered with the Department of Justice, for which a collection due process hearing is timely requested regarding a levy to collect the debt, and for which the collection has been suspended because of a request for innocent spouse relief has been made. So under these circumstances that we just discussed, a tax will not be certified as seriously delinquent tax debt. Also, the IRS won't certify anyone owing a seriously delinquent tax debt who's in bankruptcy, identified by the IRS as a victim of identity fraud, whose account with the IRS has determined is not collectible due to hardship, currently not collectible status, who's located within a federal dis declared disaster area, who has a request pending with the IRS for an installment agreement, who has a pending offer and compromise with the IRS. In those particular circumstances, and there are others, the IRS would not certify tax debt as seriously delinquent. So, okay, now we know the general framework of what is considered seriously delinquent, what the IRS can do, revoke or suspend, uh, revoke a passport or deny an issuance of a new passport or a renewal, Fine, but how are you gonna be notified of this? So taxpayers are notified of certification by the IRS notice CP508C by regular mail to the last known address of the taxpayer. Note, if you hire an attorney or a representative, that individual will not receive a copy of the IRS notice CP508C. So it's incumbent on you if you receive that to notify your representative. The State Department will generally hold your application for a passport if you're applying or renewing a passport for 90 days before denying it, giving you a chance to resolve any potentially erroneous certifications, pay the liability in full, or enter into a satisfactory arrangement with the IRS to resolve the debt. Reversal of the certification happens when the debt is satisfied or no longer enforceable. Think the collection statute expiration date, the IRS has generally 10 years to collect, um, or the certification is erroneous, or the debt is no longer seriously delinquent. That's when the IRS will reverse out. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Note, you can't get cute with the IRS and have the certification reversed by simply paying a few dollars to reduce the liability below that $54,000 threshold that classifies the debt as seriously delinquent. So you can't just pay $100 and say, well, it's 53,900 now. I should be reversed out, the certification should be reversed, and, and that's just not how it works. The, the certification does not mean a current passport will be revoked, it simply means that it can be revoked by the State Department. Although a denial for renewal or a new passport is very likely. The IRS may ask the State Department to revoke if there are failed promises to the IRS, they may actually ask a current passport to be revoked rather than just wait until they deny the renewal or, um, you know, again, they can deny a new passport being issued as well. So how do you resolve the problem? So now we have a passport CP508C, we have a revocation. Well, what's the strategy? Well, look, obviously you can pay it in full and have it reversed out, but if you can't pay in full, you can establish an installment agreement or file an offer and compromise. When you submit a request, although 
not statutorily required for the IRS to reverse it out. The statutory requirements were enumerated above, but the discretionary uh, options for the IRS to reverse out a certification include submitting, uh, submitting a request for an installment agreement or a proposed offer and compromise. Now, if you've worked with the IRS lately, look, you know, they're understaffed, under-resourced, and hopefully that changes soon with, with some more funding. But at the end of the day, even when they were at higher staff levels and without COVID, these submissions for an installment agreement or an offer and compromise could take a long time. Now with COVID and, and working remotely and limitations that the government's experiencing, you can be sure to tack on additional time it's gonna to take to resolve the issue. So when you submit a request for an installment agreement or an offer and compromise, it doesn't have to be resolved or established or agreed by the IRS for that to be backed out, for the certification to be reversed. Just submitting the request, so long as it's not frivolous, right? You can work with the IRS. They'll put a pending code on your account showing that you've made a submission and you can work with the IRS ta or taxpayer advocate or higher representative to get that certification reversed out. There are also some limited litigation remedies in U.S. tax court which are available um, for these certifications, but it's really outside the scope of this discussion and, and the video. If you want to have those discussions, feel free to call. I'm happy to discuss that. The State Department will notify you in writing if they decide to deny your U.S. passport application either for renewal or for a new passport, or if they decide to revoke a live current passport. We discussed that the reversal window is typically 30 days, but if you have imminent travel plans, the IRS can shorten the 30-day reversal window down to 14 or 21 days with certain documentation. This was a quick overview of passport revocation. There's a lot of strategy involved with these to get them reversed and a lot of advocacy as well. So if you have a passport certified or revoked by the State Department, please feel free to give me a call. I'm happy to walk you through your specific fact pattern and how we can help. Thank you for joining, and I encourage you to check out our other informative videos on our YouTube channel, and please subscribe if you enjoy the content. As always, if you have any tax issues, feel free to reach out. Take care.